So some of you are wondering, how do you even start with Canvas? Where do we begin at? So first, I'm on a MacBook. You can use a laptop, a iPad, a cell phone, anything that has internet to log into Canvas. iPads and cell phones have apps for Canvas that are available, but most of the time the app does not work as well as the website. So I always tell my students to use the website if possible, especially if they're submitting an assignment. If you just need to look at something quickly, the app is fine, but to turn stuff in without any glitches, I prefer to use the website. Um, also, when you're using the website, it works best in Google Chrome or Firefox. I like Google Chrome best. It does not get along well with Safari. Okay. So most school districts have their own Canvas websites. We don't all just go to canvas.com or something. So for my personal school district, this is our login page, but whichever district you're at probably has your school icon right here. And so you're going to use the login that your school has provided and type your username and password and click stay signed in so you don't have to do that every single time and then log in. So let me do that real quick. As soon as you log in, it'll bring you to your dashboard. This is the first thing that you will always see. And your courses appear here if you have them favorited. So the way that you can see all the courses, even if they are not on your favorites, is to go down to the next tab, which is your courses tab, and click there. And then you can click all courses and it'll show you every course you've ever been a part of and then the ones you want to show up on your dashboard if you'll click the star next to them now you can see it's lit up it would appear on my dashboard after that so if you don't want it on your dashboard to get less options there and clear some of the old ones out of the way you just uncheck the star and it'll disappear again and I always tell students that as well because when they first sign in, their classes from the previous school year are probably going to show up. So we go in and unfavorite all those and add the new school year's classes as favorites. Alright, so from there I always start with my dashboard. And you just click on which class you want to work in. Or if you don't have any classes yet, you can look at my next video. Um, for how to create and set up a class and your home page.